Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 103 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6 and 5.7. In the last video, you have seen that we able to uh, build that static invoice we copy from the template. We have first order invoice HTML template in Google and uh, we have got uh, one order invoice that looks perfect and we just copy uh, that invoice uh, into the order underscore invoice grid file that we have created in the last video. Okay, so so this is the uh, the static invoice right now we are going to make it dynamic okay you have already seen that we have created uh, the view order invoice function and uh, order details and user details we are sending uh, both uh, these uh, json data variables uh, means uh, we are returning uh, to this order invoice late file okay so we are going to make this dynamic in this video okay so let's start with the order invoice. This order uh, uh, order ID will come here. Okay. So one by one, we are going to uh, add all the information dynamically, like we have done uh, with the new order split uh, file means order detail. Here also we have shown everything. So in the similar manner, we are going to show in order invoice. Okay. So you can see here in. Uh, order uh, view orders uh, that means order detail uh, all the details we have shown there <coughs> uh, view orders not in sorry not in view orders but uh, I will open that uh, order detail bit file <coughs> here you can see uh, that uh, we have all the details already so we can copy some of the details from here as we are using uh, the function in the same manner, the order details ID. Here we can just copy and we'll see. Uh, we can see one by one that the information is coming fine. This is order ID 1. Okay, so <coughs> you can open some other order if you want. Order ID 28. We are going to see uh, here 28. The order ID 28. Sorry, uh, this is not the invoice here. We have order invoice. The order ID 28 is here, so it's fine. Now uh, we are going to make this bill two and skip two data uh, in the same manner like we have done in order details. Let file we can simply copy this one uh, billing uh, address. We can copy. Okay, we just uh, need to see that uh, only br tag is there, so nothing else. We can simply copy and paste it as here also only br tag. Okay, so copy it carefully, bit carefully because. It might be CSS is here that we no need to replace the CSS, otherwise uh, our template will not uh, look good. Okay, so here you can see our billing data has come. Uh, all the billing information means billing address of the user has come here. Okay, now ship to now shipping address we can give here, and that also uh, we can find uh, here in our order detail blade file okay so here also we can copy this one uh, like this and simply copy this complete address here okay so here also we can just need to do some intending and after that we can just refresh and you can see here as well okay now build to and skip to both you can see looks perfect okay so now we are going to uh, do for payment method okay so payment method we are already having the payment method here you would just need to copy that payment method okay so we can just copy payment method from here and uh, we'll paste here as well okay so this is the payment method that we are using one by one we can copy see cod is the payment method so it's careful delivery so uh, after that uh, order detail order, order date sorry order date uh, order date we can uh, also get here and the more information we can show uh, means uh, if we have more information of the order, we can also uh, show that information. That uh, that's not the case. We have are also having uh, that order status. But here we will. This is the order invoice. So uh, so order status is not required here because uh, uh, it's understood that uh, order has been shipped. Okay, so that is not required. So see here the details. Whatever we have done so far. Uh, now we are going to uh, show the order products. Okay, uh, 
like uh, uh, like these products are given and we are going to show the order products in the similar manner uh, like we have shown in order details the files okay here you can see because here our information is different product code product name product type product color product price and product quantity we are going to show all such information and uh, along with it uh, we can uh, also show the subtotal uh, means so, uh, yeah, price, price, uh, yeah, with, along the subtotal, and here we will show the subtotal. Uh, we will do the price into quantity, and that will be uh, here. And the price into quantity means 20 into 3 is 60, and then 600. In, so, so uh, means we can uh, do the follow the same process, and we'll also add our own data. Okay, so let's do it. So, uh, for each loop, we require like we have done here uh, so we require the uh, for each loop in the similar manner <coughs> okay so that loop we are going to copy and uh, paste uh, here uh, here it's already given that where the loop must come and we can just need to follow the same okay so another one we can move that we don't require only one we require and that we can give and after that we are going to close and for each and here uh, we are going to use our data our own data and our data is later like this product code product name but we need to do now one by one okay so we can show here product code and one by one we can copy the data product name product size We can do like this, okay. Product color, product price, product quantity. Okay, so uh, here is the total. Okay, that is fine. Okay, here we can show the total. That's not easy to show. This is the subtotal. And now uh, we can do here as well in the same manner like we have shown there. And all the information will come in the same manner. Okay, so here as well we will show uh, the product code first. Okay, that's product name. <clears throat> then product type. We can do like this. Here we can do center only. And yeah, after product side, we can have that. Uh, Product color, we can simply and product size after that, then product quantity. Oh, sorry for that. One more is required, and here we can simply add it. And here, <coughs> and here uh, we just uh, need to show product price uh, into uh, product quantity. Okay, so uh, that the subtotal of every product will come here, and we can show it like this. Okay, so now it seems to be fine that uh, what there is one issue. Now uh, we have a product code. Okay, code is coming. Product name. Now oh, here, yeah, here is the issue. And this one need to remove this column we have left. Now we need to again. We'll see. 
here product code product name and here uh, we need to follow the same thing that like, yeah now it is fine uh, product code product name uh, product size product color product price and product quantity and total okay and along with product size price here we're going to add inr and here also we are going to add inr and now here we do here we will add four one two three four or uh, five in fact like this okay now check <coughs> yeah now it looks better and you can see uh, that all the information is coming product score uh, product name product size product color product price product quantity and this is the total okay so here uh, <coughs> subtotal uh, first of all subtotal we need to show what we can do here uh, uh, we need to calculate the subtotal and we'll uh, show there okay so uh, what we need to do uh, we need to first initialize that subtotal variable we can create one variable like uh, subtotal we can create this one and we can initialize with zero like this okay so this subtotal uh, we can get here somewhere uh, and we need to calculate that subtotal we can calculate here also okay here with if the condition like subtotal equal to subtotal plus and here uh, we need to uh, do the same calculation like we are showing here this one and we just need to do here as well okay <coughs> now it seems to be perfect okay so this subtotal uh, we are going to show here with INR and you just <coughs> to copy this subtotal here and now we can see this subtotal is coming fine or not <coughs> and you can see that this subtotal is coming fine uh, for all three products that we have added in uh, that we have placed order for 2200, 1500 and 2200 again and uh, see here the order details of this order it seems to be perfect okay so our subtotal is coming fine now and here we are going to uh, show the shipping charges and uh, up till now we have not done any kind of shipping charges but in future, future videos we are going to do shipping charges as well so right now we can make it INR0 and here we are going to show the grand total okay and grand total uh, we are going to show we are already having grand total and we can show that grand total okay so <coughs> i'm going to open that order uh, detail blade file and here uh, we are having the grand total and that same grand total we will show here as well okay so let's show it now we are going to see once again okay so here you can see uh, now it is coming everything seems to be perfect okay so all the information is dynamic now but here we can also show the uh, coupon uh, discount if there is any coupon discount then we can also show it okay and one thing we can do uh, here we can do one thing like you know, we can uh, do here we can show here shipping charges plus time and <coughs> same kind of thing we can uh, do like copy this one and uh, yeah same kind of thing we are going to like this okay so so shipping charges now we are going to calculate like discount so we can give here uh, that uh, discount and discount we need to so as well if there is any discount we will show otherwise zero will come okay in the same manner like we have done uh, like we are showing in this order and detail get file this is the uh, coupon amount okay so coupon discount we can uh, make means that look more uh, 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 means more good looking
look more good like coupon discount we are going to uh, show here coupon discount if there is any coupon discount and that we need to make it minus okay like this and here we are going to show that coupon amount if there is any that will come here okay right now there is nothing so it will come plus zero minus zero fifty nine hundred but when uh, there is some coupon discount then we will show here okay and that that we are subtracting from the subtotal and uh means uh, and then grand total will come okay so here now all the information is coming fine uh billing address shipping address payment method order date okay order summary okay everything seems to perfect now we can see the uh print out view by pressing control p okay so now you can see the uh, print view of this one but that line is coming that's not good thing uh, because line is coming so we need some kind of modification uh, so that it will uh, come in a4 size so but we can uh, remove one of the thing that is not required we can move the product name i think because product code is already there and product name is not required so uh, or we can do one more thing we can uh, make it together like product name code okay that also look perfect so let's try to modify it because it does not look that much good we can do like this product name code both in one okay so yeah we can show like this uh, here we can show not here what we can show here product name code and this one we can move okay so it will uh, means uh, some space uh, we will get some more space so here we can do like this product name and here this one we can show in brackets like this and this one we can move okay and it will surely give us some space and let's see it will look like this product name code okay and uh, now we will see again and this one uh, one one line we need to remove from here and here also we need to remove okay from every, everywhere because now uh, one column we have removed so we also need to remove uh, these lines and now we will see again <coughs> now now we can see the invoice once again by pressing control p and uh, we'll see no still not good enough and still it is taking too much space <clears throat> so uh, we need to remove the product name i think uh, uh, because still it is taking too much space and uh, so we are going to remove that product name and we will show only product code uh, so here we need to move the name because it is not coming in a four size paper or we need to uh, make this font a smaller size okay but first we will check with the product code see product code we have done product code product size product color okay product price and product quantity okay then total now we are going to see once again in control control p and now we we'll see still it is not visible and uh, it is taking uh, some space and uh, now more thing we need to do here and what we can do here i think uh, we can remove uh, that product with everything so that is not required i think uh, short form is enough like this and might be it is giving uh, some trouble to it now we will refresh again once again see here uh, everything is coming here but this one is creating issue and <clears throat> see now it comes now it comes fine now uh, there is no uh, scroll bar here now and now everything is in uh, one page a4 size pair but uh, still i am not satisfied with this quantity and uh, we can update this quantity and if you can update you can also update this quantity uh, in some way uh, so that it will look better and we can even shift to left or right side okay so what i can do here uh, i can try 
shifting the quantity to the right side, left side, sorry, left side, and we'll see if it will uh, yes, uh, improve a little bit of design because you know, let's see. Mm, yeah, now, now see here. Now all four things are together. Okay, so if we are going to see in control P because here it is uh, not C here. Now it looks a bit better than before because here uh, we are computing total, total are coming and here subtotal, and here all four things are together like this. <coughs> now. Yeah, if you want to do it like this, you can do. Otherwise, uh, we can also try with one more thing here. Uh, if I'm going to make it center, and along with it, I am going to add some kind of width with every uh, with every PD. Okay, that also is one option that we can try here. Uh, like width with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six columns are there, so. Uh, we can uh, show the width of uh, 17 18 <coughs> percent okay so we can give width to every uh, equal width to every column and uh, we can try with that if that will uh, means uh, improve our table format so we can try it. this one i'm not sure but we can try with some of the uh, such kind of things see here now there is uh, space you can see and now now see it looks really better now now there is a lot more space i mean after every now uh, we can give less width to to quantity so we can increase the width uh, to 20 percent uh, at the beginning okay so uh, 20 percent to this one as well 20 percent to this one 20 percent to this one and uh, see 20, 40, 60, 80. So, no, no, no. <coughs> we are something is wrong here, and uh, we can give here 15 and again 20. And now it is more than 100, but uh, we can check once that how it will look. And um, yeah, no, 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 this does not look good uh, because previous one looks better. So, we can just undo that thing and now it looks a lot better than before because with equal width okay so i think uh, this looks perfect invoice looks perfect with all the details coming here and and uh, now you can uh, even uh, improve it uh, as per your own requirement but uh, for me it looks perfect and everything is coming dynamically now and you can take this invoice means you can uh, add this device to your e-commerce website in the same way or you can improve okay so that's all for now that's all we have done uh, with the html basic invoice standard invoice okay uh, in the future videos we are going to uh, work for pdf invoice as well okay but before that there are a uh, lot more things we will do we want to do in our e-commerce website okay so stay tuned and continue watching that e-commerce series and try implementing at your own side and uh, do uh, comment if you like the video and do subscribe if you have not subscribed so far and uh, you can uh, you can ask me if you have any queries in the video description section okay and you can also follow me at facebook if you want uh, to follow that tech developer channel Okay, so that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.